Alright, so welcome to Ryan's Pokemon White 2 Adventure Part 9. I wouldn't consider this a very significant episode, but I think it's essential for the storyline, for you viewers to understand what the plot of this game revolves around. So, alright, as you can see, Hugh is ahead, and yep, I'll let the people do the talking. Feel my rage! Rage face! Some deep conversation going on there, I think. Cover me. Shirting! It's tough. Whoa. See? They always make reference to the events that happened two years ago. I'm not sure what this guy stole from two years ago. Let's see. What? You stole a Trubbish two years ago and it hasn't evolved into Garbodor? Huh, okay. Whoa. Samuel looks pretty nice from the back view, eh? Four legged creature. Standing on all four limbs compared to Oshawott and Dewwatt when they were standing only on two. Alright, so in this episode, episode we will understand why Hugh is always Hugh is always so angry. Show no mercy. With yeah, Hugh is always angry when it comes to Team Plus Operations, I guess. Ah, yeah. oh, watch out. This is more decent than the Trubbish. Rubbish. But now, nah, Trubbish is quite cute. Whoa. So you're making me confused too, huh? Quick, take that out. No! Why? Well, we both put ourselves in confusion. Yeah. In the face! Whoa. How could you they say that? Useless. Okay. Two years ago again. Always. Yep. Searching for something. That's when our secret weapon will be able to use its true power. So what is this weapon that they're talking about? Hey, wait. Gone like the wind. That's fast. Five. Or. Perlon. Yep, you sure do. Such a nice brother. Why, thanks. Sure, so I'll do the Pokedex while you train? No, let, let's grow stronger together. Alright, so after taking on the gym and getting off all those Team Plasma grunts, we should head on here. A trainer from Espatea City challenged and successfully bit Elisa. Hey, that's me! <laughs> Route 5. There's some big commotion going on down there. Oh. Dude! Triple battle. Ah. Oh. All right. So. All right. Not yet. Let's. Okay. 
before we proceed with the triple battle, which is quite a new thing here, be very sure to put the most bulkiest Pokemon on your team in the second one, not the first, because you'll be standing in the middle and you'll be susceptible to all attacks. Yeah. Well, let's let's just battle. Oh, oh, that's cool. Everyone's watching. Whoa. So Totoga and Arkin, they're both the fossilized Pokemon in this version. Just like you have Kabuto, Omanite, yeah. But they won't be available in the game until after you've defeated the Elite Four. So you see, Crosby can only attack Silgif and Arkin. Well, yeah, Samuel can attack all, almost all of them. Let's see. Water Pulse. Because Arkan is rock and flying, or Totoga is rock and water. I must say, Totoga looks quite cu cute. Let's. Bullet Punch. Super effective because still give this a psychic and flying. All right, let's take. Oh, see, see, Crosby can't do anything. So. Just have to let it be. White guard. What? See, Crosby missed with the crunch. But yep, Lucian, use Bone Rush. Hit it with your femur. Or your humorous. Whatever works. Heartbreaker. Why does he always begin his sentence with I'm a heartbreaker? So all Charles are heartbreakers? Or all heartbreakers are Charles? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Alright. Whoa, make way for him. Where is he going? Oh, why does he always... I think that's a song or something. Whoa, Whoa he accelerated. And this is the end of part 9. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for part 10. Whoa, love.